Coach Brooks and the Huskies had started out the year 1-2, and two, with the first win coming last week at home 29-21 over Buffalo, and that win not only helped secure a visiting three-star receiver recruit DeMarco Vernon, but also three-star recruit quarterback Nick Yeast, who was number one on Coach Brooks' board. While it was a conference matchup at home last week, this week was about to get a lot tougher, as the Huskies were on the road in rainy conditions, getting ready to take on NC State. The Huskies would start with the ball, and on second and five, Angie McElroy would pick up the first first down of the day and then it would be a handoff to Ontario Brown as the senior had some running room bringing the Huskies past the 50 yard line but the very next play Ethan Hampton couldn't feel the pressure coming and he'd go down as that would set us up with a long third and 21 and despite his best efforts Ontario Brown would not be able to pick it up so senior quarterback Grayson McCall in the Wolfpack's offense would come out to the field and go to work starting this first drive Grayson McCall found himself third on the Heisman voting list headed into this week's matchup, so the senior quarterback was looking to put together a great performance to try to help boost him up that list. He seemed to be doing that so far as he would help get his team on the board first over the Huskies. But now Ethan Hampton was working with his offense, working their way down the field. Third and four, single setback. Hampton would drop back to throw, but he'd be met with pressure. So the Huskies would have to settle for a field goal to close the first quarter. The second quarter could have got out to a disastrous start for the Wolfpack as McCall would take it and he would put the football on the ground but the Huskies could not manage to recover it. So NC State had some new life in their offense and they were going right to work past midfield down to the 31 but on third and six just inside the 10 yard line NIU would get the stop in the end zone so the Wolfpack would be forced to settle for a field goal in the end. It was only a seven point game and that was something we could tie up here on this drive but it wasn't going to happen if we kept making poor throws like this. Thankfully our defense had our back and they would would get a defensive stop of their own here against NC State and we would get the ball right back with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Backed up to a third and six, I don't know what Ethan Hampton was thinking with this decision to throw it deep down into the end zone, but that would be incomplete and we were going to have to give the ball back to NC State with a minute and a half to go in the first half as they'd make a big play. As Grayson McCall has been proven why he's in the running for the Heisman this year, but the Huskies would get a stop and so instead of a touchdown, NC State would have to settle for a few Google yet again and we definitely weren't gonna waste the 27 seconds we had left in this half to try to make something happen for us as with 18 seconds left Ethan Hampton would fake the screen and he would go deep to find the freshman Kyle Thomas who would take this inside the 10 and to the end zone and it would only be a three-point game headed into halftime the Wolfpack would get the ball to start the second half and they'd open up with a triple read option from Grayson McCall and this would go for a huge game and this is not at all how we wanted to start the second half as they were running all over our defense. On third and one, it would be another handoff to Jordan Waters, who would power his way forward, setting up a first and goal where it would be a quick screen pass to Dakari Collins for a touchdown, as we would get our first chance with the ball here in the second half, down by 10 to NC State. It definitely felt like this crowd was back in this game as Ethan Hampton dropped back to throw, and he would launch it deep to Lewis down the left side, and the Wolfpack would get flagged for passing interference. So thank you, Kenji Lewis, for drawing that penalty and keeping this drive alive as Ethan Hampton would roll out to the right. He would look and throw across his body, picking up a first. And then we'd be going right back to the junior. Kenji Lewis on the shovel pass for a touchdown. And the Huskies were back to being only down by three points, so they needed a stop on this drive against the Wolfpack. Big plays like that weren't going to help them though, as on third and nine, they'd get a stop. And for a team of this caliber, this has been the best our defense has played all year. We were getting ready to head into the fourth quarter, and our defense had kept us in this game as we were only down by six and we actually had a chance to take the lead on this possession. We found our way into NC State territory as Hampton would find Grayson Barnes down to the 12 and this drive would be capped off with a direct snap to Ontario Brown. For the first time this entire game the NIU Huskies had a lead over NC State and they needed to get a defensive stop at some point here against the Wolfpack to try and keep that lead as they would do just that. This would give us an excellent opportunity to extend our lead and hopefully seal the game as on second and five it would be another handoff to Ontario Brown down to the 13 and on third and inches the senior running back would cap off the drive once again. We were now up by eight but the Wolfpack were in good hands with a Heisman candidate as he would go to work for them and Grayson McCall was starting to shred our defense and find his open receivers who were making big plays. On first and ten with just under two minutes to go McCall would drop back and he would find Noah Rogers the freshman for a touchdown and they would 
would have to go for two to try to tie this game up and they would succeed. And we now had a minute 40 to try to get down the field to win this game over NC State. Things weren't going our way though as on third and eight, Ethan Hampton would take a sack and we had to punt it back to McCall and the NC State offense but would get a stop on third and 13. But that would only leave us with 30 seconds to work with as Hampton would connect with his tight end Grayson Barnes. And that would set us up with a potential game winning field goal and the kick would be good. But there is a flag that would be roughing the kicker. So we would happily decline that penalty and we would complete the upset over NC State. Powered behind a fantastic performance from Ethan Hampton throwing for almost 300 yards today. That win would land us three star tight end Mitch Kuma from Green Bay as well as three star right tackle Shakir Council from Balsam Lake. The highest uncommitted recruit on our board was three star defensive tackle Stefan Morton and he was going to be visiting our school this next week during our matchup against UMass. I had a feeling that this could be a trap game for the Huskies headed into this week against UMass as they were just coming off of the big upset against NC State on the road and their confidence was sky high. So UMass was definitely going to try to look and take advantage of that and see if they could end up pulling off an upset against NIU here at home today. And so far they were doing that well today but Ethan Hampton was moving the ball down the field and he would connect with Grayson Barnes inside the 10 yard line and that would set up a first and goal from the 6 where he would step up in the pocket and take it into the end zone himself as thankfully we had tied the game back up but UMass was going right to work on offense as they had a third and two situation and we were looking to get a stop and we would as they would send the field goal unit out for a 51 yard attempt and it would bounce off the left upright so that would give us a chance to finally take the lead for the first time today over the Minutemen. On first and goal from the 10 yard line Hampton would drop back to throw and he would find Gavin Williams for the touchdown. So we had finally gotten our first lead over the Minutemen today and on their next possession Jashan Profet would come away with an interception and we would have just under two and a half minutes to work with to try to go down the field and score another touchdown before halftime. Unfortunately it didn't look like that was going to happen as on play action Ethan Hampton would roll out to the right he would underthrow his receiver and that would be picked off by the UMass defense and it would be taken all the way back to the house for a pick six. Ethan Hampton was not off to a good start today and we were tied up because of it. So he was looking to bounce back and try to get the Huskies down the field before halftime with less than a minute to go here. With 39 seconds left, he would drop back and shotgun and Ontario Brown of the backfield would have that for a touchdown. And at least we still had a seven point lead headed into half. We weren't playing that bad aside from a few mistakes on offense. So this game was still winnable. But if it kept going the way it was, it felt like this game was gonna come down to the wire just like last week against NC State. UMass was proven that could be true as they tie it up here on the wide receiver screen and unfortunately we were going to be out with Ontario Brown for a little bit as he had gotten banged up in the first half. Without him that just meant we're going to have to rely on the passing game a little more as that would be completed for a first down and although last time we ran this play it ended in a pick six we had trust in Ethan Hampton as he would find his tight end down to the 10 yard line which would set us up with a chance to score here on third and eight as we start the fourth quarter but instead we would have to settle for a field goal. Nonetheless though we still had the lead over UMass by three points so we needed to get a stop on this drive and we would get a lucky break here as they would fumble the snap and shotgun but would recover it. With that chance to take the ball away gone we'd just have to get a stop here on third and 15 as we would knock it incomplete and along fourth and 15 should be easy to get a stop but somehow we would give up a big play. That play would bring UMass all the way down to our 13 yard line on third and eight and they would get the first and goal as we'd come so close to getting a stop here but on third and goal they would scramble and pick up the touchdown. The Huskies would be left with a minute 19 to try to get down the field for a touchdown but Ethan Hampton would throw his third interception of the day and this would be his second pick six and that pick six would all but seal this game here for UMass on the road as they would end up upsetting us 35 to 24 and this is not the way we wanted to play with recruits visiting with Ethan Hampton having by far his worst game of the season with three interceptions. Despite the poor play, we still got our number four recruit on our board, Stefan Morton, to commit after that game, but we would lose out on our first recruit, Oscar Casey, to Central Michigan. Two-star left guard, Jamil Kennedy. Two-star right outside linebacker, Max Brent. And three-star right guard, Juco transfer, Duke Brents were the only recruits that had not signed with us yet. So hopefully with conference play starting up, we could get a couple more wins and get those last three recruits to sign on the dotted line.